This is Mario once again with MIA Microflight and in this video I'm going to show you how I did my uh, jig or fixture for holding this Makita grinder to allow me to cut uh, conduit uh, EMT which is an electrical conduit tubing three quarter in diameter for some of the projects that I'm building using the maker pipe connectors that I also talk about in another video. Basically uh, I had these uh, parts right here that you see here, which is, uh, this is called U-channel electrical conduit. Uh, it's, not, it's sold uh, for electrical applications, you know, to, uh, to attach things to it. And I've had uh, all these brackets, L brackets, um, 90 degree brackets that you see here, and the bolts and nuts associated with this type of system. So I had that from a previous um, a project that I was working on, and so I decided to reuse this rather quickly in this particular setup here, this uh, jig, if you will, that is holding this Makita uh, grinder. Uh, it's pretty solid because these uh, connectors and this hardware is uh, pretty thick. This, uh, these plates are quarter, almost quarter inch in thickness and so they provide a, a very solid structure when you build things in this form, almost like an erector set. Uh, one of the reasons I keep using stuff like this is the I grew up with erector set uh, toys and so uh, bolt-on systems have always been a, a favorite of mine because it allows one to uh, uh, do things quickly, assemble a, a jig for example of this nature and um, you're not locked to that particular setup if you need to take it down and you can add to that if you want to do uh, some additional um, expansion to it or add things to it so while I'm talking about adding things to it, I also needed a way to press the ends of the tubes uh, and um, I was trying to use what I have. Uh, like I said, I already had this uh, material here, so I uh, did this tower here and I braced it with uh, some uh, half inch bolts and I used these brackets as my uh, support here so that I could come in here and just put a pipe end there and uh, use a two ton hydraulic trolley jack to jack up the uh, uh, the, the, the pipe into this um, the stop here and that would give me a flat end on, on the pipe. While the thaws is there and it does work to some degree, believe it or not, a two-ton press, manual two-ton press that you can attach to a bench works a lot better than, than this hydraulic two-ton system here. You don't have to jack it up every time, you just take the lever of the two-ton press it's mounted on your bench and you, you just clamp it down and it flattens this a lot quicker and with um, a little more precision than this setup here but I did this anyway to just to quickly uh, see if uh, that would work in this uh, mode that, that you see here so this is my uh, jig mainly for the, the Makita grinder this works excellent by the way and this is the, the primary uh, use of this uh, jig here or, or the setup so what I basically do is I just take my, my tubing here and I set it up between these two uh, posts. I have uh, I had another block of wood here with a clamp. My clamps are underneath there. That would uh, act also as a base for the tubing and I would clamp my tubing to that uh, board and would allow it to sort of float in here. So when the tool comes down it just cuts it where I need it. Uh, so that's how I've been cutting uh, some of this uh, tubing. Although if you want to avoid the sparks and the dust that comes with cutting using her and EMT is uh, galvanized, and that galvanized material that's on the pipes, um, you do have to be uh, aware of that and you got to be careful when you cut things that you're not breeding that, uh, the smoke or the dust that comes you know, from grinding things of, of this nature. So the other option is to just use a pipe cutter, just a roller type of pipe cutter a uh, hand uh, uh, a cutter and you can do things uh, that way you know if you want you're concerned about your health or you know you don't have the proper breathing equipment to protect your lungs very important to protect your eyesight your lungs your body from any debris or any any things that that can um, compromise you know your health and your safety so keep that in mind with that having said uh, this is my setup here using this Makita grinder the Makita is attached with this board here, it's just a piece of plywood and I do have a spring here that pulls this in, in, um, in spring tension when I'm not using this so it helps it lift 
the tool back uh, to that position. And then when I cut it, you know, you can feel a little tension there and the spring just pulls it back. So it's very similar to a lot of the fixtures using welded steel, you know, to do a, a per more permanent uh, fixture or attachment for the Makita so that it acts as a chop saw.